Salt Lake Police Chief Mike Brown and Mayor Aaron Mednadhal say total crime in Salt Lake City is down 9% this year. This as they unveiled the third update to their crime control plan, which was created in January of last year. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold was there for the update today and joins us live from Salt Lake City's ballpark neighborhood. Hi, Chris. Well, good evening, Kelly and Bob. Yeah, both Chief Brown and Aaron, uh, Mayor Aaron Mendenhall really focused on violent crime during this update, saying it's down about 4.5% here in Salt Lake so far this year. However, two businesses, business owners, that is, that I spoke with here in the ballpark neighborhood, say they continue to see a high rate of crime just outside of the doors where they work. We have employees that, you know, they don't want to leave unless somebody else is out in the parking lot. Bob Danielson is the owner of Alpha Munitions moving into this facility in the ballpark neighborhood in 2018. In that time, he says he's seen all sorts of crime and activity outside his front door. Every type of violent crime possible, um, knives, firearms, um, fist fights, uh, rocks being thrown, um, tons of damage which has even spilled over into his building. I mean, we've had people walk through our door during our team meetings and threaten us and just go absolutely nuts. Crime statistics from the Salt Lake City government website show District 5, which is the ballpark area, has had 461 crimes this year as of September, up from 433 last year. However, when unveiling the third iteration of the crime control plan today, Salt Lake City Police Chief Mike Brown and Mayor Aaron Mendenhall focused heavily on how they're successfully targeting a reduction in violent crime which is down 4.5% so far this year. This includes assigning officers to what they call hotspot locations identified to be the most prone to violent crime. Chief Brown says all three Salt Lake City Police Patrol divisions have an identified focus area, a small geographical area where violent crime tends to happen. That includes the Pioneer Central and Liberty Patrol divisions. These commanders have brought in all the resources of the department, the overtime officers, the mitigation officers, the narcotics, the vice, gangs. They have deployed them into these communities, into these areas. Chief Brown says they're doing all of this despite being down 41 sworn officers. To make up for the staffing shortage, Chief Brown says that has led to mandatory overtime hours for officers. We are paying for not recruiting laterals today in the overtime shifts that we're running to bring down crime in the city and provide the level of service that our residents need. Other business owners like Jim Grizzly say this is a step in the right direction, but something he wants to see put into action more, especially in the ballpark neighborhood. This assault on our businesses and personal properties of the, of the neighborhood, of the ballpark neighborhood have got to stop. And in speaking with Danielson earlier this afternoon, he even wanted to extend an invitation to Mayor Mendenhall and other city officials to come down to where his business is and even walk that area at night. Now, as for the crime control plan itself, the mayor says over the next year they're hoping to see faster response time by officers, a decrease in officer vacancies, and to bring down the number of crimes in the city. Live here in the ballpark neighborhood, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.